Hi friends, welcome to, uh, I was getting ready to say Vlogmas. Hi friends, welcome to VEDA video every day in April, day 12. I had to look at the calendar, of course. And this video, I'm just, um, it's not a vlog and it's a little bit different than the video that you saw um, before this one, video 10 and 11, I believe. Um, it's difficult being busy and, you know, committing to do a video every day, but this is something that I needed to do for myself and I am thankful for those of you who are on this journey. So it's not going to be a vlog because today is going to take up a lot of my time and I didn't record footage yesterday for today. But I wanted to do to do something real time and because I have a lot um, staring me in my face today and I need a clear head, today's going to be a good day. Um, but a lot of decisions will have to be made, a lot of adjustments will have to be made last minute. I have a very important call today um, at one o'clock. So I'm having to prioritize some things and, you know, for work. And then after work, there's, um, um, I'm doing something for my business. And then my youngest has a commitment tonight. So today is just jam packed already. And I know that. So I'm starting my morning off before I head into my office with my daily devotional. And if you um, go back a few videos, you'll see that I was on a search for a um, devotional. And this one is the Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. I don't know what today's devotion will be, but I'm going to thumb through the page with you and I'm going to be just as surprised. So... What did I say today was April 12th? Okay, so here is April 12th devotion. And let's see if it speaks to um, you or me. Worthy God, the Bible assures me that your blessing is on those who trust in you, who put their confidence in you. Please help me to trust you in every detail of my life. I know that nothing is random in your kingdom. All things work together and are fitting into a plan for good for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. Y'all, I'm going to read that part again if you don't mind. All things work together and are fitting into a plan for good for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. Instead of trying to figure everything out, I want to focus my energy on trusting and thanking you. That is so for me today. I'm learning that nothing is wasted when I walk close to you. You've shown me that even my mistakes and sins can be recycled into something good through your transforming grace. While I was still living in darkness, you began shining the light of your holy presence into my sin-stained life. At the right time, you lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. You set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Thank you for calling me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Because of all you have done, I'm convinced that you can be trusted in every facet of my life. In your splendid name, Jesus, amen. The scriptures that are referenced are Jeremiah 17, 7, and it says N-E-T. I'm not familiar with that. Um, Romans 8, 28, A-M-P-C version, and then Psalm 42 and 1 Peter 2, 9 in the New King James Version. All I can say is this was for me, and I hope that it speaks to you. Yesterday was so chaotic. I um I didn't eat lunch until 6 p.m. last night. And 
that's just because it was it was a chaotic day and um sunday when we went to church our pastor gave us a challenge to not complain for the rest of the week and i i wonder if he knew that this week was going to present a lot of challenges but i mean what better week to go through you know things and not be able to um, rely on complaining and having a self-pity party. So going into today, I feel better. I um, Challenges are still before me and I know it's going to be okay, especially since I went somewhere and received confirmation that all things will work together for my good. And I need to keep my mind in a in a solid place of knowing that things are going to work out. And when it seems like the fire is getting close to me or I'm getting close to the fire and I may fail and I want to sulk and be sad, I need to rest on the notion, the fact that all is well, all will be well, and I need to express gratitude um, I talked to you about journaling, all of those things that were nudging me to take part in were divine. It was divine intervention. So I have my bag packed. I am going to keep my journal close to me. I am even going to take my devotional with me to work just in case I need it when um, times get a little pressing today, but I'm believing that everything is going to work out. Um, my one o'clock call, I have, um, I don't know what to expect, but I know it's it's a great thing. It is a great thing. Um, and I just want to be able to present myself well. Friends, although this video was completely different than any that I've ever done, um, this is just me being Tish. And from the beginning of me doing my vlogs, I said I wanted to present my most authentic self. And that's what I'm doing today. I appreciate you so much for tuning into Veda day 12 and I'm looking forward to tomorrow's video stick around stay with me be sure to like the videos please that helps me so much go back and look at the other ones um, open them up like them subscribe if you haven't already share it with a friend who you think that would like the content um, I'm just a busy working mom <laughs> that's all I can say who loves planning loves anything beauty productive creativity i'm a savvy mom i like to make things work for for the best of my life all right i gotta get to work and um i pray that you have a wonderful day a great day and i want you to let me know how your day went in the comment area like subscribe comment let me know how your day went today and until the next video have a great day bye